Welcome to introduction to Maya series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we are going to learn trick to create fake HDRI reflections. So, what will be our workflow? First, we will see how to create a basic metal object. Then, we will see how to assign a material. Then, we will apply an HDRI map to create reflections. So, let's start with the session. In Maya, we can create realistic reflections with the help of HDRI images. The traditional process to create such realistic reflections for any metal or reflective surface, you need to first apply uh, metal ray materials, you need to use mental ray render engine and also you need to create image based lighting. Then only it creates such realistic reflections which detect the angular uh, angles of the object, the curvature and it creates angular reflections. Now rather than uh, using that mental ray render engine and such kind of different material which are available for mental ray, we can create a fake realistic reflections. We need not to use mental ray or any mental ray material. So let us see how we can create such fake reflections. First of all, we will need any kind of object. So we will create the basic object. I will create one sphere I'll reduce its subdivisions selecting the half portion of this, uh, uh, this surface and delete it I'm creating spoon so I'll just select it, go to edit mesh, extrude, I'll extrude in object axis only. Extrude. Yeah, press 3 <clears throat> okay now I have created this uh, basic spoon model and I want to create uh, uh, I want to create a reflective uh, material uh, for this respective spoon. I'll just rename this uh, object spoon and freeze the transformations and center the pivot. Go to modify center pivot. So the first step towards creating the fake reflection is you need to apply a material which creates a high reflection which is highly specular so for metal 
we can apply bling material which is highly specular material and is capable of creating uh, high reflection sharp reflections so select your surface right click assign new material it will open up assign new material pop-up window where you will get the list of uh, available materials in this list we have blend material select this blend material now I'll go to I'll again select it I want to see the attributes of assigned material so select the object right click and marking menus will appear and choose material attributes it will take you to the attributes of assigned material rename this material as spoon next thing which you need to do is you need not to change the color or anything because I want to create it as a, a steel or you can say a chrome so I am not uh, bothering about the color I want to apply a reflective image or the image which is going to be reflected on this uh, surface so we have an option called as reflected color on this particular attribute you can apply any kind of image which will be uh, getting reflected on this uh, what you can say the surface now reflected color click in front of the mapping button of reflected color and you, the create rendered node window will get open first of all if you want to create realistic reflections as I said if you are following a traditional uh, procedure then uh, at, at that traditional procedure you create a spherical uh, shape or uh, image based lighting creates a IBL node <coughs> sorry so where you can apply HDRI image and that creates a reflection which detects the angle angles of or you can say curve of the surface as you can see it has a little bit of curvature in in this particular spoon so what you need to do to get such kind of reflection because we are not creating any kind of spherical uh, shape or uh, any IBL node to get the angular reflections in this uh, render node we have environment texture in this environment texture we have a node called as environment ball so it is going to apply the HDRI image uh, in a spherical way so that you will get the angular reflections click on this environment ball node I am attaching it with a reflected color of blend material right after applying this environment ball there is an option called as image now you need to select an HDRI image for the reflections so before applying why we need to use HDRI image HDRI is an acronym of high dynamic range image there are LDRI also that is low dynamic range image for getting realistic reflections we use HDRI because HDRI contains true color information it contains 36 bit color information so that we use HDRI for reflections click in front of mapping button for that image attribute you want to import an HDRI image so that you will have to use file texture node click now click on this folder option to browse the path for that reflected uh, that reflection image or you can say HDRI image you can use any kind of uh, 
uh, image which uh, which is HDR and this kind of images are created with the help of uh, Spare uh, uh, they use photographers use uh, Christmas uh, steel ball uh, they place it on a tripod and then capture the environmental reflection which occurs on that respective uh, Spare and hence uh, those that kind of images which are also kind of uh, called as a light probe are used so I'll choose uh, an image you can use any exterior interior according to your requirement I'll just open it now uh, we cannot see any uh, changes in a view so press 6 on your keyboard and you can observe I'll just turn off the grid you can observe this there is a there is a reflection on this respective surface right and you can see that the reflections are like quite angular reflection and those are getting stretched according to the surface so this is how that environment node is going to create uh, this reflection and you can see the reflections are angular reflections so later on you can go to your material attribute and then you can play with the attributes uh, for getting better reflection or any kind of a changes you can reduce the color towards a little bit dark so that it looks like a little bit chrome then you uh, then you can increase the reflectivity option it is going to create sharp reflection if I'll reduce the reflectivity option it is going to uh, reduce the opacity of the reflection and the reflections will be invisible right. later on you can change the color also like if I will click over here I'll change the color to a little bit yellow instead like this then you can reduce the reflectivity a little bit like this right so you can create a uh, bronze or you can create gold or else you can create a chrome just need to use brighter color a little bit towards gray or black so it will give me the effect of steel right so uh, this is the way to create realistic uh, reflection or you can say fake HDRI reflections so let us see what we have learned in this video so what we learned in this video we have learned that HDRI that is high dynamic range images are used to create reflections as it contains true color information use reflected color attribute to create fake reflections without using image based lighting and mental ray for any query, follow me on Facebook, that is www.facebook slash rohanpagi03 or you can write me an email on rohan.pagianimator at gmail.com. Thank you.